Okay. Hey guys, um, this is Madeline from the youth office. A lot of you may not know who I am. A lot of you may have never seen my face before, but, um, sorry, I was burping. <laughs> I'm here to teach you a new recipe that's gonna become critical in the next couple weeks. I know self-sufficiency is a lot to expect from someone in Gen Z, but I'm just glad to be given the opportunity to help you guys become productive and self-sufficient members of the society. So thank you so much for this opportunity. I'm smurfing again. We're gonna start with a couple basic ingredients. The butter of a peanut. Some type of jam or jelly. I've gone with strawberry, thanks Diane Quaintance. Two slices of bread. You're also going to need a knife, preferably a clean one, but I guess it's up to you. This recipe is called peanut butter and jelly. Um, traditionally, it was classified as a sandwich. Here goes. You're going to start by unscrewing the lid. You're going to take the butter of a peanut, careful with knives, they're dangerous, and spread it on one of your slices of bread. The trick here is to not go too thick and not go too thin. Second step. Ew, what's that? Ooh, I don't know. Take your strawberry jam, carefully spread it on the other slice of bread. A lot of people will tell you not to use the same knife for the peanut butter and the jelly, but desperate times call for desperate measures and I don't want to do the dishes. I think I'm actually out of knives. This was the last one. We'll take one of your slices of bread and place it directly over the other slice of bread. It's up to you whether you wanna put the jelly one on top of the peanut butter one or the peanut butter one on top of the jelly one. Now, if you are an unwashed heathen and have no morals whatsoever, you'll take the sandwich as it is and just shove it down your gullet. But if you have any pride, you'll either slice your sandwich down the middle or diagonally. I prefer mine down the middle. Oh no. These halves are not equal. Congratulations. With this skill, you are now 85% less likely to die as a result of running out of delicious, healthy meals. That was exhausting.